Oh, hi everyone. I'm here today doing drawing. I didn't get to finish it. I did start on the outline of the coloring, and I have these level covers and those three I'm working on right now. We're starting with the outfit first, and we're gonna get into everything else. So bear with me while I pick out. So we're using this. This is another format of blue. I know it doesn't look the greatest, but you'll see what I'm trying to do at the end. So be back in just a sec. Okay, and we're back. So it might look bad, but there's a reason why these water markers come with a blender, which is plenty of water. So we're just gonna blend all this in once I get the final gray touch in. So be back in just a sec. Just know it's gonna go here. Beep. Okay, so we have it blended. Now, here's a trick. We go right about here, drop that, and now we'll be back because this takes a while. Sorry, guys. And that's what it looks like. It has a little bit of green, gray, and blue in it. And it does not look that bad. Now, my camera has a lighting going, so that's probably why it looks weird to y'all. But this is pretty nice. Now, it goes in what I'm going with, with the hair. You'll see in a second, so let me just go get those colors. We're back. So here are the three colors I'm using. The lids are off, so I can pull them off. And we're going to start with the darkest one, like I did last time. So we're going to start here, and I'll see you guys in just a bit. Okay, so we're back. So you're probably wondering why I only put purple in these spots because we have this lily purple that comes in here next takes up the next spot of this and you'll see in just a second. Finally, we have the last color, which is this weird pinkish purplish color that I don't like, but it'll go with it very well. So you'll see what I'm about to do. Now you'll know what time it is. You squirty, and we blend all together. You'll see in just a second. And that's what it looks like. It looks like a little galaxy girl. Now, I got this marker, so I can do this. I go over these marks. It looks horrible, but you'll see. Because I have a gel pen. You see all those little marks around? That's where you want to clean up. Especially with that. So we'll be back in a second, and I'll show you the gel pen. This will be your best friend. Because watch this. It goes away. Now it blends it a bit. No, I like using these because if it doesn't work, we also we also have the we can make it thicker scale. Cause I like covering all this up. But I was going crazy with the markers because man, it's because not to smear it. That's the goal. Here. Because I have to put that marker on top, I can use this. But if this doesn't work, if your gel pen doesn't work, which mine does never work, it only works on the eyes when I have to add de texture, just get the black marker, like, for real. Now, after realizing this didn't work, this didn't work to fix it, that didn't work to fix it, I had to go do this. And it worked, and it made it look actually better. You're probably wondering what happened here. It's fine. It works perfectly. It still looks well. I'll go back over with everything with this once the hair dries. We're going to now work on the skirt. Which is just going to be black probably. Or another version of blue. I haven't decided yet. It might just be gray. So we'll see. Okay. Now we finished the skirt. I, I decided to make it gray. We're going to work on skin. We have a lighter tone and a peachy tone. So this will look nice. See you guys in just a bit. Because I'm running out of time. Yee. And voila. That's the finished piece y'all. You tell it's much cleaner and better. Now this piece, that's a sad story, but there. But yeah, that's the final piece. Thank you for coming in, and I'll say thanks.